Hi, in this video I'll show you how FICAF tool can save you time for your SAP integration transports. In this we'll be using a typical client, Acme Inc. It's a team of two architects, four developers and five externals. It's a consumer goods products, they have a global organization and a turnover of 2 billion euros. They are using SAP PI and they currently have like 200 IQs in production that they're using and they're also working on SAP CPI where they currently have 50 iFlows and that's where all new development is going to improve that platform. Their current cost of the integration department is uh, 2 million euros and the mixed rate of the team is 90 euros an hour. If we look at the development process, what kind of steps is involved in this and how can automation help here? First off, whenever you are developing or changing any interface, you'll be using this process. First is to plan the integration. This is coordination with the business. Understand what they want you to develop. Uh, figure out, do you actually have any templates that looks corresponding to this? Next up, it is to build the integration. Uh, and in this case, it obviously makes sense to reuse all the different artifacts you have. Some cases, FIGAF tool can help simplify the, some of those processes. Once you've built it, you need to test it. And most, most times you test it together with a business person that knows what kind of data you'd be sending and what you're receiving. And then you can create uh, unit tests that is easy to, to run and you also will create uh, integration tests that you can run in, in, in QA to make sure nothing has changed. This is a part that is easily automated with the VGAF tool. In normal cases you probably spend like seven hours and then the, with the VGAF tool you'll just spend three hours if we then look at once you have tested it, you need to release this. Then you need two more things. You need to create some documentation of what you are working on, what kind of artifacts you have, document the, the interface, update the tickets with all the necessary uh, information. Normally, this would probably take you four hours and with automation, it will take you two hours. Then we get to the governance part. This is about you documenting what you're doing and having the proper change management processes in place. You would need to create CTS transports. Uh, you would need to document the changes that you have done. You would need to ask for approvals. You would need to import it to QA and production. You would, after you've done that, you need to apply the configuration and you need also to coordinate when go live should be done. So there's a lot of work involved in this process that span multiple people. And normally you probably take four hours and with automation you can do it in just two hours. If we sum all of these things up, uh, it becomes that you save eight hours per transport. So, if we look at it, what's the business case actually for just the transport automation? So the easiest way to understand how many transports you have is to look at the number of CTS transports that has been imported into productive system in a period of time. In this case, it's 200 transports. And if we multiply, multiply that by eight hours, it becomes 1600 hours. And with our mixed rate of, of the team of 90 euros, it's 144,000 euros a year. So it is a considerable amount of money that you're actually spending on the transport process that could be automated using the FIGAF tool. The FIGAF tool is a lot more and have a lot more features than just transports, uh, but it is really a good place to start automating USAP integrations. If you want to learn more, go to figaf.com forward slash devops and sign up and see how the tool can help you.